You need to see this hit by Rasmus Dahlin. He just hit Matt Nieto so hard, he literally broke the ice. And this wasn't like a garbage hit behind the net. Nieto was streaking down towards the goalie, and look how good Dahlin's skating is here. Dahlin and Nieto are pretty much neck and neck on the blue line, but Dahlin manages to keep pace, get inside position, all while turning, skating backwards, then delivering pretty much a perfect hit. You want to see the opposite of this? Well, not surprisingly, Dahlin was a hot target afterwards. Former Moosehead, Timo Meyer tried to lay a hit on him and just completely waffles it, taking himself out of the play. Overall, though, I mean, this was a pretty fun game. Buffalo would end up winning 6-3. They opened the scoring halfway through the first with an absolute missile, a missile from Tage Thompson on the power play. This might be the hardest shot I've seen all year. San Jose would then tie it up on some pretty passive Buffalo defending and would then gain the lead on a power play goal after a defensive breakdown. Let's Listen, I know you're missing a man on the PK. Someone is always going to be open, but the team here is just completely shifted out of position. Buffalo would then tie it up to start a second with a beautiful breakout pass from Cousins. Paterka is able to take this one at full speed, and that's the only reason it works. Skinner then scored a real nice patient goal after a San Jose D-man took out Dell. Buffalo would keep pushing and would get the eventual game-winning goal on the power play. San Jose would score another. Buffalo would add another goal and an empty netter for a final score of 6-3. Those last two goals, by the way, were both by Jack Quinn. I thought he had a great game overall, and this was a good one for Buffalo to win. They've been having such a weird year. They started off pretty strong. They just had, I believe it was an eight-game losing streak, and the record still isn't great recently, but they've had some really tough matchups. They did manage to win tonight, of course, against the Sharks. They also picked one up in a shootout against the Red Wings last Wednesday, but also dropped points to the Avalanche, got an overtime loss against the Lightning, and lost to the Devils as well. I don't really know what's going on with the Sabres this year. They've got such a fun and exciting team, but they're not going to make playoffs this year. They need more time to develop. Kind of sucks. They might play their way out of a good draft pick this year, but honestly, from a fan health perspective, I think they need to have a season where they're at least somewhat competitive. Those are just my thoughts, though. Let me know yours, of course, down below on that and everything else in this video.